Hey man, what is good with y'all boys on YouTube? It's Sean2K here back at it once again with yet another video. Hey man, from the title and the thumbnail, I know why y'all are here and I'm gonna get y'all right. Y'all are probably looking for a new point guard build, maybe even a rebirth build, and you want the build to be OP, you feel me? So today I'll be showing y'all my top 5 lists of point guard builds in NBA 2K22 current gen. You probably listen to me like why should I take his builds and his advice. Well hey man I average 11 points and I'm usually a point guard and I've been trying out a lot of new point guard builds if you look back on my channel. So trust me I got a lot of experience with these builds that I'm about to share with y'all. I'm not only going to be telling y'all what builds they are but I'm going to also be showing y'all the best ways to make these builds so that you can dominate your competition. Hey, but before I show y'all these builds, I'm gonna need y'all to do a couple things for me. First, if you haven't dropped a like on this video, man, I don't know what you're doing, but if you haven't dropped a like, make sure to drop a like. And if you're not subscribed, then make sure to subscribe and join the Sean2K family today. And hey, share this with about three friends, man. Hook them up with some good builds, you feel me? And when you're done, type in the comments your favorite build on NBA 2K22 current gen. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Amen. The verse of the day is Daniel 9 verse 9. The Lord our God is merciful and forgiving, even though we have rebelled against him. We have so much to thank God for because he woke us up today. We didn't even deserve to wake up because we already sinned against him. But that's how good God is because he gives second chances to everyone. But he does it because he loves us. Alright y'all, so this is the first build I'm going to be showing y'all, and at number 5, it's an offensive threat. This build is just like the offensive threat from 2K20 if you remember that, that BP build. This build has a high 3-pointer, gets every dribble move off rip, and you can still get contact dunks. And the way that I make it, you still get 7 defense badges so you're not a liability. So off rip, you obviously want to go point guard, and it doesn't matter, jersey number doesn't matter. Moving right along for the pie chart, it's going to be the third one down. So with this pie chart, you're going to have Hall of Fame finishing and you're still going to get a lot of shooting badges. For the physical profile, go with the first one to get the most speed possible. You want to copy everything how I do it so you can get the name and the build could be OP. So this is what the final badge layout is looking like. 8 finishing, 18 shooting, 14 playmaking, and 7 defensive. On all my guard builds, on most of them, I like to get a lot of defensive badges, so that's why I put 7 on here. And 18 is way more than enough to shoot. I have 8 finishing, so whenever I could get a contact dunk, I can. And 14 playmaking is also good. But moving right along. For the height, you want to make sure it's 6'2". Weight go to the minimum. On all these builds, it's going to be minimum weight, you feel me? And now for the wingspan, you want to go all the way down. So off rip, this build's going to have an 85 ball handle, 82 three-pointer, 77 driving dunk hey man this build does get contact dunks in takeover since slashing takeover gives you plus 10 you're gonna have an 87 driving dunk in takeover for the takeovers you obviously want to go slashing takeover the reason i went with slashing takeover is just because the contact dunks you feel me and here the build is offensive threat this is just a throwback build the 2k20 you feel me and it plays really good Alright y'all, fourth on my list is the two-way slashing playmaker. Since 2K20, this build has been very OP. 2K21, you couldn't shoot with it, but now since it's the easiest shooting 2K of all time in my opinion, this build is very overpowered. For the position, you want to obviously go point guard. And now for the pie chart, you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see this one right here. So you're going to have Hall of Fame playmaking and Hall of Fame defense. For the physical profile, obviously go with the first one. And make sure to copy everything how I do it. Alright y'all, so this is the final badge layout that I chose. 8 finishing, 8 shooting, 21 playmaking, and 20 defensive. This build is literally going to be able to do everything. In just a second here, the driving dunk is going to go up too. So for the height you could go from 6'3 to 6'5 but for this build i'm gonna go 6'5 that's what i would recommend at least weight go minimum weight wingspan you want to max that out so at 99 you're gonna have an 85 driving dunk so you're gonna get all those contact packages three pointer is gonna be 64 off rip 68 at 99 ball handle is gonna be at 84 off rip so at 99 it's gonna be at 88 and you're gonna have every dribble move in the game and look at your defense your steals at a 93 off rip but i'm not gonna lie to y'all this is one of those builds where you're gonna have to grind it out if you want it at its max potential moving right along you could either choose slashing playmaking or lockdown takeover i'm gonna just go with slashing real quick you feel me 
here it is two-way playmaker this is another build that's a 2k20 throwback but they just changed up the name to two-way playmaker instead of two-way slasher playmaker I man coming at number three on my list we have the two-way facilitating finisher i think that's one of the longest names in 2k and a bruh long build names are actually kind of nice on the player panel you feel me but a for this build you want to be shooting guard this pie chart is op bro i'm telling y'all if y'all don't have a build with this pie chart man i got three in this video so stay tuned and watch all of them for the physical profile go with the first one and now for the attributes if you mess up with like two attributes bro it's gonna give you a whole different name and the two-way facilitating finisher name is nice in my opinion so make sure to copy down every single attribute that i put down so this is the final badge layout that i went with 14 finishing 16 shooting 13 playmaking and 8 defensive literally on every one of these builds there's gonna be a lot of defensive badges bro that's what i just realized bro but everything is balanced out in every single category as you can see moving right along for the height go six foot five this is gonna be a bigger build weight go minimum and for the wingspan here is how you get the contact dunks go max wingspan driving dunks gonna be at 84 off rip my boy m sick has this build and he be dunking on everybody i don't even get how he does it with only an 84 but hey man it works out your three point shot's gonna be at a 75 your ball handle is at a 79 that's the one thing about this build you don't you're not gonna have an 80 ball handle off rip on my channel if you want to look it's one of my most popular videos so it's gonna be on the home screen i show y'all how to dribble with less than an 80 ball handle so if y'all decide to make this build and y'all want to know how to dribble better just check that video out and for the defense you get an 82 steal that's very good because you're a two-way you feel me moving right along for the takeover if you get slashing takeover you're gonna be dunking on even more people bro it's crazy And here you have it, you're a two-way facilitating finisher. Shades of Zach Levine and Karis Levert, let me find out. Using this same pie chart, there's gonna be another build on this list with this. That's low-key kind of like this build, but it's a little smaller, better at shooting, and faster. So hey, stay tuned if y'all want to see that build, you feel me? I also coming at number two on my list y'all already know this build it's the meta build it's been the meta build for about like three years now but i'm gonna show y'all how to make it once again it's the playmaking shot creator so you want to go with point guard as the position and the pie chart is going to be the green and yellow pie chart this one right here physical profile go with the first one once again and now for this part just watch everything that i do Right here with the defense, it's optional. If you're playing threes and you're just gonna sit corner, I wouldn't upgrade a lot of defense, but if you're like playing twos or if you're playing on ball defense, you do need some badges. I mean, so this is the final badge layout that I went with. For the driving dunk, I only upgraded it to a 63 so I could get an extra shooting badge. You're gonna have 23 shooting, 23 playmaking, and 10 defensive badges. And like I said, with the 10 defensive badges, if you're not gonna play defense on this build then go right ahead upgrade some more finishing upgrade some more shooting or playmaking it's all up to you but like i said man this is the meta build right here if you're gonna play twos i'd go six foot two but if you're gonna play threes i'd go six foot or six foot one so for this build i'm just go six foot one for the weight minimum and now for the wingspan you want to go minimum wingspan off rip you're gonna have a 60 driving dunk but people don't really dunk on play shots unless they need to get bailed out and it's low on the shot clock and that's enough to do it for the three-pointer you're gonna have a 91 and at 99 that's gonna be a 95 three-pointer bro and if you miss a shot bro you just deserve to get slapped it's like nah i'm messing with y'all everybody misses in this game but for the ball handle off rip you're gonna get every dribble move in the game that's why this build is so op this build is really like that and y'all are probably wondering what build is better than this build right here you feel me this playmaking shot creator hey man stay tuned because i'm about to show y'all i man this is the number one guard build in nba 2k22 current gen bro this build is going to be able to do everything at a very high level contact dunks sharp takeover every dribble move in the game bro anything that you want your point guard to do this build could do it so let's go for the position you want to go with point guard moving along it's the same pie chart it's the third one down and for the physical profile obviously go with the first one now this is what's gonna make this build op 
gotta see what I do for these attributes and copy everything how I did it. So amen for the attributes, this is gonna be what it's looking like. Seven finishing, 20 shooting, 14 playmaking, and seven defensive badges. It's once again, just an all around type of build and it could really do everything. This is probably my favorite build so far this year, just because it confuses the defense like crazy. But moving right along, I went to find, I'm not gonna lie. For the height, go six foot four. But if you wanna be a player that can use screens on this build, I would go like six foot three or six foot two. But for mine, I'm usually just ISOing on the twos court with this. So I would recommend going 6'4". For the weight now, go minimum. And now for the wingspan, you wanna go 83.2. So looking at this build, like I said, it can do everything in every single category. And that's off rip. But at 99, this build's gonna have an 86 driving dunk. You're gonna get all those contact dunk packages. 77 three-point shot. I'm greening very consistently with this three-pointer. I'm barely missing at all. If you look back at some gameplays with this build that I already posted, bro, I barely miss with it. Ball handles at an 81, so at 99, you're gonna get every dribble move in the game. I can't wait to max out my build so I could do that. Looking at your defense, your steal is gonna be at an 81, so you're gonna get a lot of steals. And look at your speed, you're still gonna have an 87 speed. But the crazy thing about this build is honestly just not fair. Contact dunks, 81 three pointer at 99. And with the sleeves, which I have, it could be like at an 83. And when you go to takeover, you get all these takeovers. Like that's insane. Usually with this pie chart, usually don't get sharp takeover. So when I made my build, I had to go with sharp takeover. I'd be greening from half court with this build, bro. It's crazy. But once again, if you want to, you could go with slashing takeover. Those were th those are probably the two I would go with. But here you have it. You're a pure playmaker. This build literally confuses everybody because they're like, are you a pure yellow pie chart? And it's like, you just dunked on him and you're shooting like crazy. And you can still dribble like a pure playmaker too. But hey man, that's gonna conclude my top five point guard builds in NBA 2K22 current gen. Let me know your top five guard builds in the comments or just your favorite guard build in the comments. And let me know if I did this list right, you feel me? But hey man, thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Peace out. Coffee, coffee.